Welcome to Android Video Review. My name is Jay Boucher and today we're going to be showing you an exclusive preview of Star Legends The Black Star Chronicles. Star Legends The Black Star Chronicles was brought to us by uh, Space Time Studios, the same company that developed Pocket Legends. Star Legends is their new MMORPG which is currently in a pre beta preview mode um, only available for certain Verizon customers uh, with a Droid X device. So today I'm going to be showing you an exclusive preview of what this game looks like looks like before it's actually released to uh, everybody. Right now it's currently updating, so a little bit of the background. It's the same sort of MMORPG type of game that Pocket, Le Pocket Legends is. It follows a very similar layout, although it's also different at the same time. So this is my current character. Again, there's three different, um, when you first start it, I can't get another slot. Well, when you first start um, playing, you have three different classes. I chose the Commando class. And the base area that you start off is the Black Star. Um, it's this spaceship. And it's populated by different mercenaries, different... Um, different groups, different, you were, you know, all different types of things can be done. So there's different companies that work here. Um, each different company has their own base, which I actually haven't been to, so why don't we check this out, Portal to Dynastar Labs. Um, each different company has their own base. You can take missions from each of the different companies. Oh, this is new for me, so. All right, so right now, this is a mission that I had already started um, that they transported me to. Um, and it was a mission just working for this one company. So they've refined some of the controls from Pocket Legends. Um, I only have to hit auto once now. And I'm able to actually sh continue shooting the enemies. Um, in addition, if you auto target an enemy, uh, you can strafe around it. You're not just going to look left and right anymore. You'll actually strafe. Oh, wait. There we go. Um, one thing to note, the controls aren't perfect right now. If, you know, there are some problems with the controls. They aren't completely 100% responsive. But this is a demo. This is, I mean, a beta version. So I would, you know, not be alarmed that there are obviously a few bugs. Um, all of these which will probably be worked out before the game is actually released. Um, just some just some problems with um, with responsiveness to controls. Nothing too major, but uh, definitely something that you know I'm a little you want to look out for. Um, and then in the game, you can open you know different boxes that you find and you receive items for them. And it's the same kind of leveling up as the previous game. So we'll just check out my avatar. Um, I don't have any points, but you have your stats here. Inventory, same kind of uh, layout, except, you know, it's just all across. You can just basically hit which category you want to look at. Skills, um, you can re you can map skills to the main display wherever you want to put them. Um, or they will auto-map before you get too many of them. Um, again, you can use, you know, through their store. Sorry for the abrupt change in location, but uh, my camera died. So, we were somewhere around here. So, social, right, we can add... Um, friends or people that are in it. Quests, there's a quest that I'm on right now. Menu, you know, basically it's just the same thing as it was in the uh, previous game. Same kind of options. Um, Space Time Nexus is where you can get, you know, free platinum by doing stuff. Um, inviting friends to play, friending it on Facebook, and this is the start of a new quest. Um, so, Again, you can point and click like in the first one, and you can go, you know, you'll go wherever you point and click. That's something else you can also do. If you see here, uh, there's somebody else. Same kind of um, display as the first one where it shows you, you know, who's in there um, and who else is playing. So when you use something, you can hit something to use it, like the door terminal. Oop, I hit the... Uh, if you want to hit like the if you hit the uh, the taunts or something, you know, same thing like the first game. I want to get back to the. Uh, I actually don't want to continue this. I want to get back to 
oh, get back to the main area, but I'm not 100% sure how to do that. Let's see if I can figure it out. Here we go. So let's go back to the Black Star. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this is a menu where you can enjoy player versus player games, which aren't set up yet. Um, story player versus enemy games, different towns that are in here, um, and you can like actually join individual games. You don't have to, you know, go through the whole story or whatever. You can actually just find people that are playing and join their quest, or find people who are playing whatever. Um, or doing PvP, which is not available yet, and just join their quests. And again, same thing. And you can actually start your own games um, if you're up to that level. If you're not up to that level, you can't start that game yet. Um, let's see if I can just get back to the Black Star headquarters. Here we go. So back at headquarters again, um, you can tr use it to travel to the other ships uh, when you're available to, to use the hangar. Um, I think you have to level up to a, to a certain extent to get to it first. But back in the concourse, here's where you can meet up with people, talk to people. Um, there are places that you can buy things. You know, this is a place that's clearly under construction and is not yet available. But there are places that you can buy things, vendors, vendor stim pack vendor, and then there's a vendor on the other side over here for um, enhancers, which are enhancers, which are um, equipment that you can purchase for your character to to you know enhance their abilities. Again, stuff that you need platinum for, something that I don't have, so I can't show you what any of that's like, unfortunately. But again, you know, with the free-to-play MMORPGs, you know, it's the freemium model, and uh, they kind of made the model up. So, again, here's the trade and storage, and you know, a lot of these different people, you know, some have stories, some are able to actually give you um, different quests and stuff. But as I said before, you know, this is just a preview, so it's still in development. Again, let me show you over here stash terminal can't access the stash terminal until you're level five so i can't tell you what that does here's the auction terminal let me guess ah, i can access the auction terminal so here is where you can auction items that you've picked up or bought or buy items that people are auctioning i'm not sure if this has been welcome back to the review sorry that uh... it's been so cut up um... i've had a couple of problems with uh... recording it and then I had some uh, some other stuff to take care of, and I haven't gotten back to it until just now. Um, but right now I'm in the middle of another one of these third one of these uh, third party missions um, that you working for one of the corporations that's in the uh, one of the corporations that's in this game. Um, you know, similar to the corporations that we had in Pocket Legends and the other stuff that we've had in Pocket Legends. Um, right now, this is a considerably harder mission, um, probably a mission that you would want to take take on when you had, uh, you know, friends to play with. And probably a mission you would want to be higher than level 3. And probably a mission that you want to actually take a look and see if we have any extra inventory. So, see if we can get a better gun than the one I have right now, which is not very good. And, uh, fortunately, oh, wait, I do have a better gun right here. Equip. This gun should be slightly better, but not by much. Um... This mission, you're just trying to kind of, kind of trying to get in, and uh, cover some evidence that this, and cover some evidence that this uh, company is being like sideswiped or hacked by uh, some other company. Don't know how far into it I'm gonna go, um, but as you can see, 
you know, the game has been very well developed. And this is just a, you know, there's a couple of bugs, but this is just, and this is just a beta. So, you know, the, the actual release of this game is probably going to be pretty good. I would say that this beta is pretty well, uh, well polished for, you know, for the state that it's in. A couple of slowdowns here. That might be my phone, though. My phone's had a couple of slowdowns in the last day. Um, so, uh, so far, I, I have to say that I'm very impressed with the quality of the game. Um, haven't really had many problems with the game. The game does need some, uh, you know, there's some bugs that have to be kinked out and stuff like that. But any game that's in a beta version is going to have bugs. So I can't really hold that against it. Um, I'm really looking forward... I'm really looking forward to when this game is actually released because I'm looking for a new, um, kind of a new spin on the Pocket Legends game because that, that's kind of getting old and this is definitely looking to be pretty good. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, exclusive preview of the game. Um, no release date as of yet, but I am looking forward to hearing about it soon and if I hear anything, we'll definitely let you guys know on our website. You can check us out at www.androidvideoreview.net. Thanks. Have a good one.